Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to demonstrate something that's a little bit annoying with IPART tables, but there is a way to fix it. So sometimes when you're authoring an IPART table, and I'll just go ahead and launch into one, you forget columns. So for example, I need to author this component so I can push it into the content center. But besides like the thread A designation, it also needs things like the class and the type. So I forgot to add those earlier. So if I double click, it adds them, but it adds them to the end of the table. So there's really no good way inside to kind of move these around like you can't left click, hold and drag or anything like that. So it's a little annoying, but I'd love for all the thread A information to be put together. So here's a method for taking care of that. So first of all, you have to add the columns in like so, but then if you uh, <clears throat> edit it in the spreadsheet, you can actually cut and paste. So we'll go ahead and launch this. Hopefully it won't take too long. It's a pretty small table. But once this pops up, there's my thread designation. And of course, to the right, we've got our thread type and our thread class. So what I can do is I can simply cut and then come over and before, pick the column you want to place it before, in this case, thread A, you can insert those cut cells. So you can actually rearrange them inside of Excel. So go ahead and do that. I don't even have to add anything else. I'll just save that and close it. And now when I come back into, whoops, let it finish up here. There we go. Now when we come over and edit the table, you'll see that when we get to the thread A information, now we've got the thread type, thread class, and thread A designations all right next to each other. So again, not something you run into all the time, but if you do run into that little irritation, this is a way that you can rearrange them in Excel so they show up in exactly the spot you want in the IPART table. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.